and some of the best ball skills in this class of any of the defensive back. Guys, let's let's talk about Kyir Elam, cornerback out of Florida. This was a guy who surprised a little bit with the speed that he showcased at the NFL Combine. Verified 439 at 6015, 191. He's got 30 and 7 eighths on the arm, so he's not necessarily the longest, despite the fact that he's a tall, angular corner, but he's somebody who showcased very good straight line speed. I think probably better straight line speed than yeah. a lot of people expected. Yeah, I mean, that, that I think surprised a lot of us, but I think his straight line speed was pretty good on tape. The concern with Kyrie Elam for me was, you know, when he had to deal with more twitched up wide receivers that can really work the horizontal plane and get you know, cleanly in and out of breaks and, you know, how he's able to transition and close and trigger on those routes. Thought there was some segmentation and, and some elongation about his ability to do that. But uh, I think he can run. Uh, I think he's a player that, you know, you should probably start the conversation by mentioning his ball skills and some of the best ball skills in this class of any of the defensive backs. And, you know, that's where you get excited is what this guy can be in press on, on the line of scrimmage, getting up in the face of guys, but also playing in zone coverage where he can cue the backfield, work in the throwing lanes, and this guy has the ability to take away the football and make game-changing plays on it. And so you kind of cling to those positives and you really like what you see here, but this is a guy that maybe there's going to be some matchups at the next level where he's going to struggle. I think it's interesting, you know, you, you talked about how the smaller guys in press really gave him a hard time. I think we can go back to what's his relative wingspan versus his height. Yeah, it's weird. Right? You know, to be third, to be sub thirty-one on the arms, but be six, over six one and a half. Mm -hmm. You typically expect a little bit more length out of a guy of that stature, right. and then mm -hmm. now, now you're trying to punch down on guys, but you don't have the reach that the guys your size usually do to tap into. So, you know, I, I just happened to listen to you talk about where he wins, and I absolutely agree with ball skills, but. Uh, the, the press against the smaller receivers, that, that's an interesting kind of subplot to his story that as we continue to, to look forward for him, um, we'll need to see how that continues to play out. What do you guys think of Kyrie? Man, I, I think this is a guy that's technically sound. Uh, first of all, at the line of scrimmage, he, he's really technical in his press. But like Joe said, he may be limited athletically, but we don't see him ever play in his zone, right? So he, this guy might be a plus uh, corner in zone defense. Like I always talk about, that Florida defense was really, um, they just did whatever. And they, they put the <laughs> cornerbacks on the island and told them roll with it. As far as in integrity, gap integrity, there was none of that with the Florida defense. They, they just told their corners, you're on the island, and play man-to-man -man defense. So like many of these corners on this board, we can all say that some of them had some type of protection, right? As far as um, a safety over the top, they played primarily cover three, mixed in cover two. That was not what was going on in Florida. So I appreciate the fact that every down we got to see exactly what Kair Elam is. And now it's just a matter for the right team to draft him, to put him in a situation. And it may be that the film is even better in the NFL than what it is in college because he'll be in a more beneficial situation for a cornerback. I mean, at the end of the day, this kid is a phenomenal athlete. I mean, I think on tape, one of my main issues was he receivers were able to separate from him down the field. And so that's where I was, okay, like, how fast is he? You know, is he straight line fast? And to Joe's, to Joe's point, you, you saw some straight line speed in, in pursuit in the run game and, and, and things like that. But there were times receivers could get over the top of him. What are you at the combine? A four three nine forty yeah. verified, and so I mean, he clearly has that straight line speed, and in the instances where he was playing off coverage, and he was able to, you know, have his eyes on the quarterback and, and the receiver, I saw some really good instincts. Yeah. You know, being able to play in space, have good awareness of, of of his zones, and understanding, hey, you know, I'm I'm not dropping to a landmark. I'm kind of free free flowing and following the quarterback's eyes, and the ball skills, the ability to take the way of the ball create those big plays on defense, I think are outstanding. And so you have a corner who can, in my opinion, excel in many types of defenses, whether that's zone, whether that's man, whether that's press, I think he can do it all. And I think with his overall skill set, he's only gonna get better as he continues to play. Kyir Elam, he's right in the thick of this uh, second round bucket of corners for us. A lot of good talent here in the defensive backfield in this year's class. I uh, have, have a feeling, though, with his size, physicality, ball skills, and long speed, he's going to have to wait too long to hear his name called. <laughs>